sponsoring this event. And here's the kickoff. Just want to throw it out there by Rock Solid Pink. T. Davis upsetting the returning champion. Yeah, I knew you were leaning that way, and you feeling strong about T. Davis. And so T. Davis will start with the ball. He's going to be in Navy. He will be the home team today. And shut it down. We'll be on the receiving side. Good shout out to Hannah for the Patriots coming by and seeing us, bringing us some cool toys. And we got a fumble on the first play of the game. And oh my, T. Davis recovers. That could have been a disaster. <laughs> Somebody he's exhaling right now. <laughs> Randall Cunningham will find T.Y. Hilton and a nice move that's close to the sticks. Probably just shy. Yeah, third and inches. Now, now we're starting to see some of the stick works and some of the moves we were looking for. If Rose Bowl could have had that, it might have been a different game my first game against Skimbo. Got Jerry Rice, the speedster Ross, and T.Y. Hilton. It's right to the right. The legend, Randall Cunningham. Check it down. That should be enough for a first down, and it is. Big catch there by Reddick. See a lot of middle linebackers in the slot of that bunch formation. Cunningham has all day in the pocket, looking, and finds a man downfield. That's T.Y. Hilton at the 25-yard line. That pocket presence was phenomenal. He sat there, he waited for his deep route to develop, didn't force it, didn't throw it away, didn't get sacked, and they got that big completion. So the guy's locking in. It is chilly up here in Foxborough, Massachusetts with a hoodie on. Oh, chilly, it's freezing. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing. You're from freezing. Florida. You guys think that, that 68 degrees is cold. Below 32 degrees is technically freezing. It's not that cold up here, but it was. It, we did have a, some rain move through uh, our first day. Put a chill in the air. Second and seven. T. Davis right now. Cool as the underside of the pillow. And the ball at the 22. Cunningham has to get rid of it. And there is Howard, the former Indiana Hoosier. And he falls down at the 12-yard line. T. Davis looks good. Got rid of, got the fumble out of the system, was able to recover it. It's funny seeing Randall Cunningham back there. It makes me think back to Dubby. <laughs> Philly, now, are the, former, are the Philly quarterbacks going to be winning and facing off against each other? Yeah, we had Carson Wentz lead Skimbo to the victory. We'll see what Randall Cunningham can do. And there is Howard. And you need three guys to take him down, and he's... And we brought down just shy of the goal line at the one-yard line. First and goal. He did such a great job of avoiding that first tackle. It looked like that was going to get blown up in the backfield for a loss, but he was able to evade that tackler and move it down to get within inches. T. Davis was a nice stick work. He's inside the one-yard line. It's at the half-yard line, first and goal. And he will hand it to Howard, and Howard will break the plane, and it's... The first strike in the game will go for T. Davis. And he'll take a seven-point lead here over Shut It Down, the Madden 17 Patriots champ. I know Shut It Down didn't envision his day starting out like this. He needs to make sure he puts that drive behind him, stays focused, and do what he came here to do. It's two big passes to T.Y. Hilton. Goes with a short kick, but it wasn't a... Wasn't a sky kick. His quarterback. Shut it down. He's using Vic. We were talking about it. We we're getting exciting during the break. And I said, it's kind of like the three pointer in basketball. You will live and die by Michael Vick as your quarterback. He's explosive. So buckle in, folks. The Michael Vick experience starts now. Now, I'm curious to see how he uses his Vic. I. I like to remember myself as one of the greatest pick users of all time. But oh! It goes to Kamara. They are first down, and Alvin Kamara picks up six. What I've always found out when you play with Michael Vick, people on defense are so scared of him. They change up their coverages, they change up their scheme, and now you have them doing things that are outside of their normal comfort zone. 
Been Tyreek Hill on the outside. He's got the speedy tight end Ingram. It's in the slot. Play action. The lefty will swing it out to Nelson. And Nelson will move to the 49-yard line. Cross the 50. It's a first down. Big drive right here. Shut it down. Looked so cool in that pocket. He was just waiting because you, you don't want to blitz him too heavily because if he gets past that blitz, it's gone. Coverage. If you look, T. Davis, there were people running wide everywhere. And then you also have to worry about stopping the run. <laughs> That's the thing with Vic. You got to always be conscious of him taking off. Moves it to the 44-yard line, second and four. Sometimes that can make you susceptible to the run if you always have to have alignment in a, a spy situation. You get a little bit more of a push up front. Second and four. He's got Richardson out there as well who's got some speed. Vic. Check down to Kamara and Kamara will pick up the first down. Easy breezy. This is just a pitch and catch. <laughs> He's had people wide open. He, have, he hasn't even had to make a read yet. He's had his first read wide open. His first drives are always interesting. Such as some guys that haven't faced each other. Sort of feeling each other out here in the early going. T. Davis with already a, an impressive opening drive. And now shut it down on his first possession. Has taken the ball to the 34. I'll be curious to see if Shut it down to be able to get into the red zone. What he does with Vic there, and if it helps open up his play opportunities. A lot of audible. He goes back to the run. Kamara gets stuffed. We haven't really seen Dewey McDonald make a big impact yet for either of our teams that we've seen today. But a big third and four coming up. to see if he might have covered if he doesn't get this first down. And Vic will take off and he'll slide down for the first down. Haven't used him yet, but when you needed it, he had him. And I know he is excited because he barely avoided T. Davis coming in to lay the hammer right then and there. That was a great bit of stick. Eight seconds left in the quarter. Opening drive for shut it down. Trailing by a touchdown. He's going to take us to the second quarter. So he's got first and 10, ball at the 28. Offense looking good for both these guys thus far. Defense not looking good for either of these guys so far. They've both been uh, technicians moving the ball down the field. And do you realize how quickly that first quarter went by? It's like we blinked. We're already in our twos. Yeah, a lot of completions, a lot of running. Clock just chewed up. Quick five minutes, back to Kamara. Breaks a tackle. He's got 19 yards now and five carries. Just picks up two, second and eight, as Sherman came up on the tackle. Let's go, Ball at the 26 now, trip to the left. Play action. He's going to... Find a way to get it to Nelson at the 22. Vic, three for three. But here comes a big third down. This, this is where it's all going to come down to. Because you don't want to let this game get away from you. And shut it down realize T. Davis moved the ball with the greatest of ease. So you're going to have to take your three here. He got rid of it quickly. See, with Vic, you get a little more extra time. And there is that aggressive. You know, you can in your coaching strategies you can choose and he caught him on an aggressive line there or he caught himself with a, a defensive tackle that had an undisciplined trait jumps the snap and that gives shut it down a first down first right. and 10 from the 17. he can breathe with ease now he didn't have to make that play kamara gets to the edge on the stretch Works his way to the 11-yard line, second and four. Shut it down. It's put together a very, very good drive. He's mixed it up 
run, pass, a little bit of thing only when he had to. He's usually more as a decoy than the base of his offense. Goes back to Kamara. Still on his feet at the seven, going to depend on the spot. It'll be third and inches. That might not be a bad thing if you can pick it up. Not at all. That, that actually makes your red zone experience a whole lot easier. So it's going to give you an extra couple downs after you get this first. Of course, hindsight here <laughs> might say you wish you picked up the first down, depending <laughs> on what happens here on third and inches. I, I'm not a big proponent of going to shotgun. Oh, I, you got out of it quickly. Good job. Good job. Double tight end. And Vic will run it and he'll get a touchdown. And that was the question I had. Once he got down to that red zone, was he going to use Vic as the option that everybody was looking for? You tip your hat to shut it down. That was a great drive. And now you see that man is that man. Michael Vick from Virginia Tech. I'll never forget, I went down to the, I'm trying to think what year that was. Clemson played Virginia Tech. Yeah, I believe it was the Gator Bowl. Michael Vick beat him 41 to nothing. <laughs> So now T. Davis scored on his opening drive. We got a tie game, 320 left. This would be huge for T. Davis if he could chew up this three minutes and 20 seconds and shut it down. We'll get the ball to start the second half. This game might come down to who has the ball last. I don't know if either one of these guys are going to stop either one of them. It'd be interesting what adjustments shut it down makes defensively here. After giving up two big passes to T.Y. Hilton on that first drive, back to Howard. And Howard trucks no one. It doesn't matter because it gets to the 42. I think I could have ran through that. <laughs> <laughs> it kept going. That was great blocking up front by T. Davis. He made the most of it. Even used the move he didn't have to. But he's still moving the chains. Using that delay out of the shotgun. Sort of taking his time here, picking this play. Only nine seconds on the play clock here. He's going to have to hustle if he wants to get this playoff. Playoff. And Cunningham. They're going to have a sack party back in the 50-yard line. You're not able to set up your adjustments. You break the huddle late. And here comes the blitz and clean. And that's what I was going to say. You called it. He was having problems with that play from the beginning. Sometimes it's better not to even rush that. He could have took that time out. You can't take him with you to the second half and got himself together. That's a great point. Bunch to the left. T.Y. Hilton solo to the right. Second and 18 now. He's on the edge of field goal range. And there's another sack. This time it's Davion Clowney, the former South Carolina Gamecock. Looks like he's probably going to take this as a two-minute warning. I guess Shut It Down heard me say that it looks like neither of these guys are going to stop each other because he showed us why his name is Shut It Down. <laughs> yeah, he made some adjustments. T. Davis seems to be freestyling a little bit on this last couple plays. Back-to-back eight-yard losses on the sacks. Makes it third and 26. He's going to get back some yardage here. Cunningham will take off. The original Vic. Of course, maybe a Red Grange. I mean, you had a lot Frame of running targeted. quarterback. Yeah, sure. A little frame target and running around back there. <laughs> Fourth and 11 now from the 43. So he's able to pick up 15. Makes it, in Madden terms, a manageable fourth down. Cunningham has time. Throws it. And there's the GOAT, Jerry Rice, who drops it. Wow. If somebody told me I could have Jerry Rice coming across the middle for the fourth down, I get him right in there, I, I take it every time. But just no. It's a big hit in the secondary, so now it's a huge possession for shut it down. He'll get the ball at the half. If he can even get three here, set him up in a nice situation. Goes back to Kamara, and he'll stumble to the 46. That stop changed the whole complexion of this game. And you said if he gets three, if he gets seven, 
the way he's controlling the ball in the offense, and then gets back. It's been a long day for two days. Williams on the tackle. Second and six. Play action. Vic will take off. And he'll move to the other 46. In the blink of an eye, Vic was gone. You have, you have no idea how excited I am watching this game. I'm going, I'm going down memory lane. Just the fact that you know that any time your play breaks down, you have one of the fastest men on the field with the ball in his hand right now. You're just a turbo button away from a possible touchdown. First and ten. Vic gets corralled back at the 49-yard line by Terrell Suggs. That'll make it second and 13. That's one of the scariest men on the planet. Suggs? I, I, I didn't know it. Yeah. Oh. That is a big, scary man who moves very, very fast. It's been a staple at Ravens defense for a long time now. 22 seconds in the quarter. Vic finds Richardson, and Paul Richardson gets forced out at the 39. That's going to bring up a third and three. And maybe some questionable game clock decisions right now. You, you had three timeouts for both of these players. They haven't used any of it yet. If you're T. Davis, you just want to stop here. Because he's not in field goal range yet. You, you have a chance. You just got to yeah, fight for it. Let's see if he uses the timeout, and T. Davis will. So now he's going to force the hand of shut it down, who's not even thinking about kicking it right now. He's looking in the gun trips formation. Now this might be the biggest play of the game so far. 7-7 seven, seven game, 16 seconds to go in the half. Shut it down, needs four to keep the drive alive. Richardson comes in motion. Vic with time. Vic will scramble. They get the first down and more. And he slides down at the 23-yard line. And the clock is moving. And he finally calls a timeout. This, this is way too casual clock management for me. Now, I'm not making fun of Andy Reid, but I feel this is very Andy Reid-esque. I feel like he just coached himself out of an extra four points. And he had McManus, who's got a huge leg. It's a 40-yarder to break the tie. And it's almost blocked. And, and it's down Main Street. I think that should have been blocked. I don't think T. Davis thought he was going to get in. Yeah. So he wasn't ready for it yet. Got the animation. But couldn't get the block. And so at halftime, 10 to 7 is the score. We'll go ahead and uh, do the second half kickoff here. And Hill will take it to the 35. And that's where we are right now at the half. Shut it down, 10. T. Davis, 7. Why not? <laughs> Why not? We had a great semifinal number one, and now in semifinal number two, it's a three-point game. Uh, yeah, you could see at the, the end of the camera shot, T. Davis was just shaking his head like, man, I can't believe that that happened at the end of the half. And then you saw it shut it down like, yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that happened at the end of the half. If you're T. Davis, you can't, you can't allow that first half to dictate how your second half goes. You're only down three. You got the moral victory there. If you stop, get an outright stop, or even still hold it in the three on this drive, you're still in control of this game. Well, let's take a look at the first half highlights in this one. Just like semifinal number one, it's a three-point game at the half. And it started out with shut it down on the move with Michael Vick. He looked good with his arm and his legs. Yeah, he was definitely controlling the game and dictating the pace. So Vick with another big scramble there. And on third and inches, Vick gets loose again. And if the story sounds the same, it is, because Michael Vick has been the big difference maker thus far. Oh, and then we had the, the, the fake truck move. Uh, Michael Vick has definitely been the MVP of this game. His arm has been unfallible as he's found all of his receivers. And then the legs and then the thread of his legs have taken shut it down to the place where he's at now. Shut it down, getting excited about those back-to-back -back sacks. And we thought we had a blocked field goal. But no, shut it down, kicks it through, and has the lead. It's eerily similar to the first game. 
sans Michael Vick, because Michael Vick is right now is it's right now he's the difference in the ball game. Game changer. He the threat of him has T. Davis playing outside of his normal defense. He has him preoccupied. You have to. It's tough for you to lurk other routes when you're worried about Vic making a move out of there. So you got to be able to multitask at the same time as stopping the run and also making sure you know somebody doesn't take the lid off your defense. Well, second half coming your way here momentarily. We'll be right back after this. It's football time, fellas. Let's get into it. Are you ready? Well, we are in New England. We are actually at Gillette Stadium hanging out here. And so uh, they've been gracious hosts to us thus far. Patrick and all the rest of the, the Patriots organization has been hanging out with us. We've had a great first half. Moments away from the second half. And shut it down is going to have to do some work here uh, to uh, really seal the victory. Yep. He has the opportunity right now to really establish himself. He knows Skivo's already there waiting. he got that. Don't put the cart before the horse, but just know you've done everything you needed to do in that first half. Now's your time to close it out. All right. So now it's time for the second half. It's a three-point game. Shutdown's going to have the ball to start this in very important third quarter. If you missed the kickoff, here it is again to start the second half. Tyreek Hill. You don't see a lot of returns. A lot of people go with the short game, but Tyreek Hill able to get it to the 35-yard line. And that's where Shut It Down will start this drive with a three-point lead. Now, I'll be curious to see if T. Davis plays Michael Vick the same in the second half as he did in the first half. That's the thing, when you have to have another player account for Vic, possibly leave somebody open in the secondary. You might have to manually spy Vic. That's not an easy task either. <laughs> not at all. Instead of lurking the routes that you're used to yeah. following and take away, you have to make sure you stand there and follow him and take away his running lanes. So second and six. See if T. Davis can find an answer as they go five wide with Michael Vick in the gun. That's time. Scrambles away and throws it away. T. Davis played good defense there, but what he might want to do is, you know shut it down wants to go left when he has Vic. You got to set that pressure from the left-hand side, force him out of that pocket, make him uncomfortable, make him have to beat you with his arm and not his legs. So third and six at the 39. Stretch it outside, and a nice job coming down in the box. It looked like that was Richard Sherman. And it's actually Chris Harris Jr. Should have noticed. No, no dreads. Had to be Chris Harris. Big fourth and seven. Now, if you're T. Davis, you have an opportunity to take control of this game again. You needed this stop. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Do not get preoccupied with Vic. Just get off the field here. Fourth and seven. Vic has time. Turn back and throws. And Ingram can't hold on. Yeah, wow. Little, yeah, wow <laughs> is the exact word. But you see, he forced him right, made him a little uncomfortable, had to make a decision to make him through that a little bit earlier than he wanted to. UT Davis, you got the control back. Yeah, that's a big time play on fourth and seven. And now T. Davis just trailing by a field goal. He's on the edge of field goal range. Be a 55-yarder from there. And there's Cunningham. Finds Jerry Rice. Boy, that would have been a powerful combo in the 80s. Oh, wow. That would have definitely been trouble. <laughs> you know, Randall Cunningham really, uh, before his time, you know, really didn't know what to do with him. You know, with all that, all that power in his legs. He was a tremendous thrower of the football as well. Yeah, rocket. Got to make him miss. Could imagine Cunningham at the college game the way it is nowadays. 
that spread offense, he would have he would have put up numbers that people would have, might never have broken. Second and nine. He UNLV? had a, he had a 90 yard punt, I believe, in the Fog Bowl against the Bears as well. So yep. he could do just about anything. You're the college specialist. He was UNLV, right? UNLV. Running Rebels. I, don't ask me what conference they were in back in those days. If that wasn't the uh, maybe it's still Big the West or Mount, Mountain West. Mountain West still probably at the time. I don't know. I'm, I'm asleep when they play football. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> East Coast. Sorry. I'm sorry. East Coast bias. We talk about it all the time. Third and nine. Randall gets sacked at the 28. That was Telvin Smith, the former Seminole, coming through with a big sack. T. Davis. Uh, just left a little bit on the field at that time. He had that out to the left. Didn't want to throw it. Was waiting for something a little further down the field. Trying to call for himself. But game's tied. Live to play another day. So we're all tied up here at Virgil De Gillette Stadium. While we're at the real Gillette Stadium. It's the New England Club Championship. The winner will face Skimbo in the finals. It's a heck of a game by Rose Bowl. I, I don't want to overlook that. I know Skimbo gets the win here, but Rose Bowl gave Skimbo everything he could handle. And then sorry. I, I, I still can't get over the fact that Skimbo won the coin toss. I just assume that he <laughs> did. <laughs> I don't it's, a, that's a, it's a gutsy move. There's a lot of confidence in that defense. Second 11 after the loss by one with Bosa on the tack. Speaking of confidence in that defense, Looks like T. Davis is uh, getting a little bit of confidence against handling Vic. Took him a half to see it. Now he's made his adjustments. Let's see if he's able to contain him. Well, he was sort of doing bend, don't break, but I don't think that's the play against Vic, because if nothing's open, he just takes off. Got to dial up the pressure. Second and 11. They're able to pick it up this time. Let's be honest. Joey Bose is an absolute animal in this game. Yeah. So here's your question. Joey Bosa to Davian Clowney. Well, I'm picking Bosa just because Clowney went to South Carolina. And I, I can't do that to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I might live in South Carolina, but I don't root for South Carolina. Gotcha. But they're, I mean, they're, I mean, as far as Madden goes, that's tough. I used a, I use a, a powered up tier Bosa for myself off that left edge. But, but Clowney's a, a beast as well. Third and 22 from the 20. There goes Vic. Gets a block. Got to be careful to hold on to that at the 31. Wow. I know shut it down. I'm so upset that that guy shed that block. It looks like he had a lot of running room in front of him. But now he's dealing with fourth and 11. He saw a lot of cover four out of T. Davis in that first half. The drop two, cover four. But he's gone to a little little pressure. You saw the DB fire on that last one on the big third and long. This is fourth and 11. Vic looking downfield, and that's a beautiful throw to Richardson for the first down. That was incredible patience shown by Shut It Down. T. Davis took away what he wanted to do first. You know, his first reads are always going to be left. So <laughs> he left it over the middle. He'll read left to right. Two catches now for 25 yards for Paul Richardson. They go back to Kamara. He fights his way to the 50-yard line right there on the Patriots logo. He had, what did he had 13 rushes for 38 yards. Well, that's not great. It seems like he's been holding it down and getting T. Davis. I'm mean, sorry, getting shut it down with the yards he's needed. Yeah, he's, he's left them in some manageable situations. Fick. And he'll just overthrow this one. That was not a throwaway. He was just trying to wing it outside on the run, and that's what you get with Vic. He, although he has a high throw on the run capability, that route was way done. Sometimes he puts it in the bushes. <laughs> the thing is, he had a chance to run with it and pick up the first down. Not sure why he didn't. Third and six. So quick. Going to break up a fourth and medium. Fourth and four at the 48. T tie game. This third quarter is blown by, Rico. Blinked. And we're about to put our fours up, as you'd say. <laughs> it's a big play here. Fourth and four in a tie game. Ball at the 48 for shut it down. Last year's Patriot Club champion. 
huge debate is, do you play coverage or do you send them to dogs? You got to send them. That's a user sack by Hill. And that's going to put the ball back in the hands of T. Davis. And but you saw that reaction out of him. He's on the left side of your screen there. He's bobbing, weaving. He's happy. You can tell he's got a swag back because now he's in complete control of this game. It's back to Jordan Howard. And Howard gets to midfield. Second and nine. If you're T. Davis, they told you, it's going to be fourth quarter. You'll have the ball at the 50-yard line. Tie game. You're in control. You take that. Needs a touchdown to put some pressure on shut it down. You have to get a touchdown here because you know Vic can get one at any moment. Five minutes for these two competitors between them and the finals. Well, that's a dangerous pass to the outside. That was clowny in coverage, though. That moves the ball up to the 43. Here's a third and short. That was <laughs> Kind of Definitely lolly popped that out fire. there. Yeah, he just tossed that one up there, all soft and nonchalantly. That could have been a pink six. Cunningham. And let's be honest, Joey Bosa is out of control right now. He's raging. <laughs> That's the first thing you forget about identifying the mic. You got to identify Joey Bosa. Well, yeah, that's that's. One of the tough things is your your running backs trying to come over to make a play and. Unfortunately, got hurdled. And that happens. They know it happens. You put a lot of faith in it, but a big time fourth down conversion. Puts that play behind him. You got hurdled by Boza. You put that behind you and you pick up the first down. Quite the show of moxie from T. Davis. <laughs> he threw yeah, that down in there. And you got to just appreciate the fact that he was able to make that read. And get that first and keep on moving. Didn't pause the game, didn't go to Twitter, didn't at Rex, didn't at Clint. He just hung in there and picked up the first down. <laughs> did, I, did I just get too real? No, you can never get too real. <laughs> when keeping it real goes wrong, didn't Dave Chappelle say something about that? Yeah, that was a whole skinny ass. <laughs> Second and 15. Cunningham. Goes to Howard, gets back within the sticks. So that's going to be third and nine at the 36. Boy, you got to make sure you at least get three here. Maybe see if he got a quick pass. If he doesn't, he might tuck it. Will make a throw in a corner route, and T.Y. Hilton will tap the toes at the 21, just outside the red zone. That was a big play right there. Now you know you're in field goal range. There's no question. You can breathe a little bit and play for something. So first and ten. We go to Howard. And he'll gain a yard. Boy, the running game has been really tough today. Tough sledding for all four of our competitors. Well, I don't know. Tevin looked great. Well, yeah, in the first in the, yeah, in the first half he had a couple broken tackles, but that was about it. And even Rose Bowl would tell you, all right, well, I got a, I got a few gifts there. And you see where it got him. <laughs> I did, in the overtime with the ball. Goes back to Howard. This time he'll lose a yard. So here comes a big third and 10. We just got three minutes left in this one. That was a great block, six. I thought he was locked in there. But he was able to get off that and make that tackle. That might have been a first down saving tackle. So third and 10. Definitely in field goal range, 38-yarder from there. Cunningham will take off. Needs a block. Carries it like a loaf of bread to the 15. I know you don't want to kick it here, but you got it. The no-brainer. Come on, Rico. See, it's tied, and you're on the 15. You gotta kick it. You gotta. I mean, you, you can't leave points out there in Madden 18. Previous games, I get it. You played a lot of Madden. I played a lot of Madden. You gotta take the points. You have three timeouts. There's two minutes and 44 seconds left. Oh. 
I mean, it, 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 it would be gutsy. It would be gutsy to say the least to go for it there, but you got to take the points. 99 times out of 100. Well, that means I'm the one. <laughs> You're the one. <laughs> yes. I just got to make you a believer. <laughs> <laughs> no Justin Bieber comments. That was in our contract. You're not supposed to bring any of that up. It's too late Kim's to say sorry now. Kim's not even playing here. It's too late to say sorry now. <laughs> Killing this one. <laughs> Killing it. Of course, Kim will be playing at 430. Let's go. That'll be the Seahawks Club Championship. We still got a ways to go here in New England. And that is an absolute dippity dot that's dropped. And it's picked off. Wow. What did I just see? Madden history. And shut it down is just, he's laughing, but he's not laughing. And that's the way you're supposed to handle that. He handled it the exact way you're supposed to. EA Sports. It's in the game. It happens. happens in the game. Sometimes you get that pick, sometimes you throw that pick. It was a perfect timing pick while he's on his back like a turtle. I, 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 <laughs> that ball just hung in the air a bit too long. He had him open on that deep corner route. Looked like a dot. But then he gets flipped up in the air in the interception. Second and seven at the 41. We might take this to the two-minute warning. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I'll be honest. I, I haven't seen anything like that ever. <laughs> ever. You say it's in the game? I, you, you, you you're ready to send a tweet. You have to find me a clip you, somewhere. You, you're, ready to, you're ready to send a tweet? <laughs> no, I'm not. You're no. ready to start no, playing it. I'm not. By the way, I, I love Shut It Down's foam posits. <laughs> I have to at least throw that out there. The white foam posits looking sharp. But he finds himself trailing by three with two minutes to go. Bunch formation, Jerry Rice to the left, goes back to Howard, and Howard fights to the 42. That's gonna be a third and six. You got it. You got it. Big shout out to RG, S. Gibbs. Farls. Big time, big time Patriots fans. Oh, minus the Farls. These kids to throw those giant zingers back at him. <laughs> Has not been good in New York. Of course, the club championship will be there on the November 29th, just a few days from now, plus or minus some, some turkey in between. Can't wait. Yeah, Mark Scott's going to be there. That's the rumor. <laughs> that one goes down to the turf. That, that's where that's where shut it down. It's like, hey, can I get one? Can I get an interception while I'm laying on my back? Doesn't happen. And so now it's a big fourth and six from the 42. This could be game right here. So he's an outside, T.Y. Hilton will fall down for the first down, and T. Davis knows that was a big play. Do you think he was more excited because he's a little closer to winning this game or because he helped me continue to be 100% of my rock <laughs> solid picks? So got a ways to go here. Only one timeout for shut it down. Minute 39. It is a 30-second play clock. You do the math. He's going to need everything to happen right here. There's no way I'm putting this ball in the air the rest of the game. Let's see what T. Davis does. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Well, he knows he has Cunningham, too. So if nothing's there, he can do something. But he hands it off to Howard. So a lot of fake audibles in there, some fake hot routes, and then you <laughs> hand it off. You knew, he knew exactly what he was doing as soon as he came out of that huddle. Able to pick up six there on first down. T. Davis trying to hold on here against last year's champ. Winner faces Skimbo in the finals, immediately following this. 90 seconds to go now, third and four. So we're going to be just a shade over one minute on the snap. If you can get a stop here, things might get interesting. I, I, I don't know. That's a lot of pressure right there. When you picked up that first down, you're like, thank you. For, <laughs> you're already counting your wins. Uh, here's where... And here's where I have faith and confidence. T. Davis is a seasoned vet. He's not going to beat himself. He's going to make the smart play. And this is going to be a draw. Well, that's, why right? that, that's why that cool. field goal was huge. Okay. See. A little delay to Howard. And Howard gets hit by Telvin Smith. So it's going to be fourth in three from the 44. Clock's moving. It'll be 30 seconds on the snap. 
Worst case scenario, he's going to have the ball to 44. No timeouts left. About 20-something seconds? Yeah, 25, 26 seconds, something like that, depending on what he decides to do here. I think he's going to run it all the way down to one second on the play clock, call timeout here, and then decide what he wants to do. Oh, I thought you were going to say a punt. I was like, at that point, just take the delay. And he does take the delay a game. He's punting. Which would make you believe he's going to punt the football here. So he's going to punt it away. He's got the ball on the 49-yard line, 20 seconds. It was a smart decision. Savvy veteran. See if it pays off. How's his coffin corner? Here's Gano to kick it away. Has some room to return. Spins his way to the 28-yard line. So no timeouts. If he could get a hot one here, he could have the opportunity to get in field goal range, but he'd have to get out of bounds. Here's where you don't worry about Vic. You cannot let Vic get you taken out of your defense. You have to make sure if, if Vic can run for he has no timeouts left. So you don't worry about him. You just play defense. See what they decide to do here on first and ten from the 28. A sack or a tackle? Vic cannot take a sack. You dare him to run this. He will take See? off and he gets tripped up. That's game. By a guy that's only 14 cap. That's Terrell, and that's the game. Right on, Rico. You can, cannot get tackled in bounds. You see the good sportsmanship there. But that man on the left, T. Davis, gets the victory, and he's going to.